So we can get started. Um, good afternoon. Hello. So, hey, hello. Um, how many of you have, um, are able to participate in some kind of a video conference? Like, I guess you have a Mac, right? Um, I use a Mac because uh, I think for high chat, let's you have more than one people do a video chat. Um, I never tried that, so I think you can do up to four users, right? Um, so I have two laptops here, and I guess we can use yours, right? Um, what's your AOL thing? AOL or uh, TRU? TRU? Yeah, TRU, smarter. Child M. Like this? Oh, sorry. Uh, TRU, child M, okay. Yeah, I got Unfortunately, this is an older machine, so I had to add the... Do you have a? Um, do you have one of those things? One of those. Okay. No, that's. Uh, yes. So this is with three, right? You should be able to do with four. Um, if you can do a video chat, what's your? Oh, do you have a video thing? Yes, I do. I yeah, it doesn't see your... Do you have, uh, is it, has it problems? Uh, it's like not connected to AIM. 
Oh. So I'm having trouble, and now we're not there. Yeah, sometimes if you log, I mean, get out or come back, I mean, they're just the application. Oh, show some way. Yeah, so this is sort of, um, yeah, so this is me, right, and this is the, this camera, right, um, if I can, Yeah, so so this is this is sort of the uh, one of the things that this can do, right? Like have three people, you know, four people um, do a video chat, right? Um, it looks kind of fine, right? Except you can see the delay if I keep the do the mirror kind of thing with the stuff, right? Remember, if you like have two mirrors right next to each other, you can see yourself, right? Um, so if I point this towards this, and if I move my hand. You can see how long it takes for, and you can, you can if you can look closer, you can see the, um, <laughs> like if I move my hand, right? It's sort of, you'll see the hand kind of show up in the, like a weird kind of effect, right? So if I, and the, the reflection shows it after a while, right? Um, so, And we're all like right next to each other, so there's really no, shouldn't be much of network delay, except, you know, because we're all connected to the same access point. Um, it's mostly the, the processing capabilities, right? Um, so in terms of like one of the things that project we looked at, right, the Coliseum kind of stuff, they're trying to attempt to solve this kind of a system, right? So if, this, if you think of this as the commercially available state-of-the-art kind of stuff, compared to this one, um, so would this be something that is good enough for you not to travel somewhere to meet people? I think the, I'm hearing my echo from somewhere. Um, right, so let me point this at somebody, right? So, or let me point it over here, right? Would this be of, of enough enough um, resolution and usefulness for you to avoid face-to-face -face meetings, right? Sorry, I can't get this to. Well, I think it depends. It depends on, I mean, so I'm I, might go, I might still want to go home and see my parents once a year, but um, Sorry. this would be nice, maybe nicer than calling them on the phone. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to show this because I want to see how, how uh, do you mind holding this? Uh, let me see. If I were to walk over here, right? Um, okay, if you do something, right, how, how much time it takes for you to, um, 
or like you know something on this thing, right? Like if I if, if you can find here, right? If I say, right, you see a big delay, right? Um, that so if you're all interacting, right? If I say one, and if one of you can say trying to coordinate, right? If I want to say how many of you want to who want agree with me, right? Um, if I say you know, if you agree with me, raise your hand, right? See, but the, the the delay which in which it happens, right? Um, so that's that's the bottom line, right? So if you if the time is long enough, if it's too long, then if the if the lecture is going to be like okay, raise your hand if you agree with me, then I have to wait for a few minutes for each of you to raise your hand, and I have to stop my lecture or, or whatever to say okay, now I'm waiting for the response from you. It takes a few seconds. It, it severely changes how I react, right? It severely changes how I'm, I'm going to talk and stuff. And like you pointed out, if, you, if it's something that you're going to do on a social context, right? If I'm talking to my family in India, this is perfectly fine for me. I don't particularly care. Um, I mean, it's, it's far better than me traveling all the way over there. But the, that's really not the money maker, right? That's, that's really not where, where these things want to be pushed. And what you're trying to push is, uh, more of a collaborative research kind of stuff, and um, and and the um, and this one makes no attempt at synchronizing each of those stuff. You know, each of you get whatever uh, the timing you get. So, uh, whatever I'm, I'm seeing here may not be what you're getting on each of those screens, right? And that's sort of okay, um, but um, you know, going beyond that, sorry. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Okay, um, going beyond that, it's. So is the video quality sort of acceptable? This shouldn't be that hard. I mean, there's not much bandwidth gap here. Um, as far as I can tell, there's only four people here in this room. Um, but would this be of acceptable quality if you're going beyond the stuff? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I guess it depends again. Like, if you're just having me a, some sort of business conference, um, and you're just talking really, and it doesn't really matter. So you can see many details. But if you're trying to like draw things on whiteboards or uh, you know actually you know, small details, then mm -hmm. it's not really acceptable. That goes to one of the reasons why you want to do video stuff, right? If if you're if all I'm doing is just talking and I'm not saying anything which needs any visual kind of stuff, then it's probably acceptable, right? But one of the things that people try to do is impromptu, like start to write, or start to point at stuff, start to do stuff, and that's part of the collaboration, right? If you're um, where it, it goes, so if you're if you're comparing this with the telephone conference call, this is probably good, right? But that's sort of the wrong way to look at it because telephone conference call has no video at all. And if any of you have done telephone conference call, um, have you done telephone conference calls? So one of the things that you note, what is the thing that you notice most? Hmm? Oh. <laughs> yeah, so, so in terms of the telephone conference call, right? What is the, the one thing you notice most? Like flow control, in respect to flow control, right? How, how do you feel about the flow control there? Meaning who talks next, right? Um, right? So one of the things you notice is, you know, like, you know, close your eyes right now, right? So if you, you can simulate that by closing your eyes and then decide, I'm asking you a question, right? So what do you think of who should go next, right? If you close your eyes, that's essentially what you're doing, right? You have no idea who should go, and frequently two people start to talk, and then they back off, and, and, and kind of stuff, right? The other thing you notice is, since you know that nobody else can see uh, see what you're trying to say, and people tend to go off like, but if you increase this, right, and then you change it and say, then you change how you say, and then you explain, you know, if you change this graph from x-axis this way to y-axis, I mean, say so you're describing what you're seeing on the screen to other person, so that kind of slows down what you're trying to say. You know, if, if I had a way of saying, you know, point, you know, that graph is going up, and now you have to say slowly and everything, and it changes the whole thing, right? So to me, telephone conference calls are incredibly annoying because um, it's good if only one person is talking, everybody else is listening. It's really, really bad if much of people are talking because everybody, every time you have to say, oh, by the way, I am X, and I have to, I, I need to talk right now. And then at the end, you have to say, I'm done, and you change the way you say everything to explain it 
so much go in detail that you sort of get lost on, on the detail, right? So I think compared to that one, this is probably better. But going beyond that, I mean, what, what we want to make sure is um, beyond there being a lot of interaction, this may not be the, the way to go. But this is sort of what, what you can do right now, right? And, and this is what they're trying to compete with, right? And you can imagine, even for this, you can see the, the, the bandwidth requirements are, for some reason, the, the, the frame rate is not good, right? So if you, if you look at my video, I would think that the frame rate is about um, 8, 10 kind of range, right? You can see the movements are fairly, like, choppy. Um, I'm not sure if it's because of the this machine or, or the network how much it can it can pump into the stuff, right? Um, so that's 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 one of the systems that that is out there. It goes beyond many uh, I, many uh, video conferencing stuff that you can get, which is mostly point to point, and this is more of a um, you know four person conference call kind of stuff, right? So so I'm going to show the other one that. I'm going to, uh, is, is there anything if people want to add or try with this thing? I thought that the whole mirror thing was very cute because if you look at the mirror one, your hand kind of keeps showing uh, slowly and then keeps going away, right? Um, the next one is this particular. This particular tool, which I think I, I sort of mentioned at the uh, very beginning of the semester. So this particular conference call is similar to many products from different companies. Uh, I think WebEx, which I think uh, is bought by Cisco, has some of these things, and a whole bunch of other companies uh, are, are doing this stuff. This is a product from, actually from Lotus, which has been doing this thing since early 90s and stuff, right? And Lotus was bought by IBM, so this is one by IBM. Um, so if anyone of you want to participate, I can send you an invite, and you can join. So essentially what this is, is I can start a, um, This, is, this works through the web, and there's been some, some other systems. Some systems have their own application which does this. So the idea here is, um, being slow. Can you see this? Um, you can dial from any browser. You don't have to be a Mac. Um, can you see the URL over there? Got it. The ID is six three eight 
4 to 9. Okay, so if you see over here, you see the um, Yeah, so for some reason, it won't let me start a video from a Mac, because it, so if any of you have a um, Windows, you probably can do the video over there. Um, but I, it, it won't let me start a video here, right? So the way that this thing is supposed to work is, so you see the list of participants here, right? And this is the presentation that anyone are to be able to control, and you see if the there are ways to interact with it, right? Things like pointer over there, right? Um, and any one of you, if you want to participate, ask question, you're supposed to um, I forget what it called, but raise your hand, right? It should let you. Yeah, so somebody's like you know doing the little blinking one, right? So I don't know who that. There are two people. Um, so the interaction is, now I know that Karen and Joshua want, raise their hand. But so now I'm supposed to, um, I can just ignore their hands or whatever, right? But the, so it doesn't really, um, so that's that's interface it does. So if I do a pointer here, so I can show that, you know, I don't agree with this one, right? Can you guys take a pointer control and, and show your pointer? He doesn't have he doesn't have a pointer option? Yeah. Okay, I have to make you a presenter. Okay. Now you're the presenter. <coughs> okay, so um, okay, so it, it so I have to make you the presenter. So now I'm no longer a presenter, right? I don't know if I can uh, take it back from you. <laughs> yeah, so I can take it back to be the presenter. Um, but I suspect that you guys can't take it from me, right? Unless I... Hang on. So, um, Kenny and you have remote control. Does it change anything on your thing, Kenny and? Uh, it makes you have to install the Linux. Yeah, it wants to install the plugin. Oh. He says the participant system does not support remote control feature. Um, So anyway, so they, you know, so whoever the presenters can do so, you know, feedback and uh, those things, and um, you can do a poll, which sort of kills the presentation. Um, and of course, there's a chat too, text chat.
I don't know. Does it, does it show up on? Did the chat stuff show up on people's things? So anyway, I guess there's still. Shop for you, or? okay? Yeah, so yeah, you see this little blinking lights and stuff, right? So let's say, imagine that there is a video thing at the top of the the presenter, and this is the presentation that I I could uh, proceed, right? You can imagine the synchronization amongst all this stuff, right? Um, what would be the ideal synchronization between Let's say video camera, if you can see something, and the presentation here, and the say the remote point, the the point interface, right? Um, and uh, you know, obviously the webcam, you, you get the audio too, and you want the presentation to have enough synchronization where in the in the talk, if I say, oh by the way, I don't like you know like project like Hydra, and I point the pointer at Hydra, right? You want to see that at some. Uh, at some point, which is sort of correlated with this stuff, right? With with my what I'm saying in the audio and what you see in the presentation. So in so this is a separate stream. That's a separate stream, and the pointers are a separate stream, and they all have to be synchronized in some sense to make them happen, right? I have far less faith in how good a synchronization they do because um, we don't seem to be able to get up too far too far with with the stuff, right? Um, <laughs> so it took me a so you send the message at 2:24 and it came at 2:25. So I don't know what the um, whether our, our 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 laptops are synchronized, right? Okay. And you didn't get one of my messages I sent to you. So I sent something to all. Specifically, and it didn't, and then he got it. Yeah, so um, that's not uh, very good because you know we are here. Um, so losing a message in this system is really, really bad, right? Because you, you don't want to keep sending it over and over again. You don't want to keep asking, "Did you get it? Did you get it?" Kind of stuff because then then it becomes annoying because you're sending all this all this uh, all the extra feedback, right? Especially in a presentation, right? So. Um, in the sort of a demo I can ask, you know, did you get it kind of stuff, but in the presentation I don't want to be saying, um, and I don't like the project Hydra, and did you get it, did you get it, did you get it kind of stuff, right? So you, you want a little bit more elaborate. So that ought to be fixed, right? That, that seems like a really bad uh, thing not to be reliable. Um, I think this, this interface leaves a lot to be desired, right? Especially the, the, the ability for you to raise your hand, it's, I don't know, for me it's very intrusive, right? I have to look at the screen for this little blinking thing to see that somebody is, uh, is it's saying something and I need to, I don't think I'm supposed to be walking away from the screen. I think I'm supposed to be standing here. I'm supposed to be constantly looking at the presentation and who's raising their, their hand or who's saying some chat. Um, and I wish I could, we could try the, the remote control stuff because that's, that's what you really do, right? Um, one of the things that you meet when you're meeting in person is if somebody improvs, you know, feel like, okay, I, I don't think you should put the line there, you should put a line here kind of stuff, right? Um, it takes away all the, all the fun of it. If it has, you have to raise your hand, I have to acknowledge, give you permission to control it. You take control, then you move something, uh, and I may or may not see it because of the reliability issues, and then I take the control back kind of stuff, right? Um, I thought the system was further along, but this, these kind of systems are pretty popular. I think we have we have a site license for the WebEx at, at Notre Dame. I think you pay, I forget how much it is per minute to use these these particular tools. Um, I don't know if any of you use the uh, WebEx uh, software, right? Um, any of you guys use the WebEx thing? I think it's like a few, I mean, I think a few cents per minute 
per participant, I think, uh, the cost, right? Um, the systems I've used pretty much give you this kind of a facility, right? This, this, this much of uh, uh, capabilities in terms of the responsiveness and in terms of the, the controllability, right? Um, Was anyone able to install the 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 plugin thing the for remote control? Mine didn't even prompt me for to install a plugin. I don't know if that was a Mac thing, but I sent you another one. Okay. Um, There are a lot of lot of things which are going on which is not probably what you expected. One of the ways it's presenting this thing inside here is it's sending the bitmap of it to you, not the PowerPoint, right? Um, so you can see that if you go to the next one, you see the I press this. Yeah, you see, you see the the way it's transmitting the stuff, right? Um, it's not sending sending the, the the PowerPoint slide with any information. It's just sending it as a bitmap to all the different users, right? Um, and it forgot all the pointer stuff we talked about. Yes, yeah, so if I if I do this and I go to the next slide and I come back. My previous thing is sort of gone, right? Did you notice that? And in real life, the, another nice thing is like this stuff, right? The the good thing about this board is I can, when I'm on slide one, I can talk about whatever I have to talk here. Then I can move it up, use the other one. If I go back to the previous slide, I can bring back the 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 context of what I was talking about and then continue to talk about it, right? Here it forgot all all the things, right? Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of disappointed with, with this product because they've been working on this for, I think, last at least three or four years, right? Um, but that's the state of where things are. So with this stuff, would you travel or would you, would this be enough? So if you had to con con you know, do the lecture using this kind of a system, right? What would your feeling be? It looks terrible, right? Because um, I still don't know why it's not. Um, so you have Windows, right? Uh, but do you have a camera on it? Yeah. Okay. Um, <coughs> so yeah, so I, I I can't see the the camera aspect of it, right? So so that's so that's the that's the state of where things are, right? Um, <coughs> so what's your sense of? Disconnect between what we talk about, what should be done, and what what is actually happening, right? But you can see the potential, right? If you can make this stuff work, right, um, your productivity ought to increase. You know, not just the fact that you don't have to travel. At, at this stage, you 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 actually may not be so much against travel, right? I mean, I, I suppose that if somebody says that we're going to have a meeting in Tokyo. Would you like to go, or would you like to do this stuff? Um, I'm guessing most of you may say, you know, let me travel to Tokyo, right? Um, but but at some point, I mean, I mean like initial travel is fun, right? But at, at some point, you 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 would like to do the sort of these things, you know, fairly quickly and and um, not have to travel for business. Because one of the things that at least I realized once you start doing this for a for a living is. Travel is fun when you do it for fun, but when you're going for meetings, you're basically going to the place, and uh, you don't know where. It, I mean, you know, you don't actually go interact with the with the place, but you're interacting with the human beings and getting back, right? So, if you want to get the feeling of how these things um, of of being productive, right? How would you fix this to make it productive? What would you wish? That, yeah. You said that you didn't like how it was raising. Um, so you can maybe make it make a ding when someone raised their hand rather than just doing the blinking thing. 
you need to make a thing with different sounds for different people. Mm -hmm. Get some sort of other feedback. So would you like a system where there is no, see, I would like a system where there's no, I don't have to do anything, right? Everything should be sort of natural, right? I don't want any prompting, I don't want anything stuff, right? So for example, in the, in this, in the classroom, right? Um, it's not like, you know, you make different noises or something like that, right? You, you sort of, um, nothing prevents you from talking other than social norms, right? All of you can decide to start talking at this point and I don't have any dictatorial power to say, you have to talk, then you have to talk and stuff, right? We don't talk like that because it, at the end, nothing happens, right? So it'll be nice if we can let anything go and then deal with the consequences later, right? So what if you had the presentation where if you want to say something, you go ahead and say something, right? And if you want to take control of the mouse pointer and, and, and move it away from where, I, where, I'm, where I'm talking about, right? Let it do that, right? Because the, the, in the social context, we know how to deal with that, right? So if, if I gave control for everybody to control this particular mouse, and if you maliciously keep moving the mouse away from something, right? And we, we deal with it in a social norm, right? I don't have to go through the system. I don't want the system to enforce what, what the consequences are, right? Um, I can say cut it out, right? Because you're just annoying the stuff and everybody can say cut it out, right? So wouldn't that, wouldn't that be the, shouldn't that be the direction where you want to go rather than having these primitives where it says, you know, who gets the control, who does all the stuff, right? Does that, would that be something that um, you, you think this, is, this kind of system should let you do? Let everybody do, sorry. Mm -hmm. Oh, you mean like you know, in the in the video screen, right? Like you know, integrate everything, right? So you have videos of all the different people, right? But but somehow, right? You know, move to a point where not have all this kind of interactions, but be sort of you know, in practice, right? So why wouldn't why would why would you or why won't you do that? Let anybody and everybody sort of interact with the pointer. They're doing this not because they don't know how, they don't like that, or they haven't heard that model, right? I don't, I don't think they're doing this because they thought that this is the only way to go, right? They're doing this for a reason, right? Um, why won't you, why won't they let everyone control the pointer? Concurrency, just because they wouldn't, like if two people are trying to control at once, they would have to figure out a way to I think the latency issue, yeah, the latency issues, they don't know how, they're, they're not really solving it, right? The latency of what happens when you move a mouse and you move a mouse, it's, it's really horrendous on these systems. The way they get around that is to add this annoyance on top of it. So I basically only let one of, one of you go, right? So if I let only one of you go, then there is no synchronization issues, right? Because I, I let you go, then I let you go, and there's no synchronization because I avoid the whole notion of synchronization. And you can be frustrated by the interface. You can say, this is kind of really, really uh, annoying because I have to give you control. But you're not being annoyed by the real problem with this approach, which is um, if, I, if I did give both of you control, I have to have it you know, in a fairly synchronized fashion such that both of you should be able to see, um, both of you should be able to see, control it in a, in a smooth fashion, right? And I think the system is so slow that if you move the mouse, right, on your screen it'll probably move, and if you, if you take the example of her, iChat, uh, her chat message as an example, right? So her chat message, she typed on text, and she's expecting it to go to all of, all of us in, in certain amount of time. If it takes a minute, Right? So correspondingly, if, it, if she did the same thing on the screen, if she moved the mouse pointer, if it takes a minute for her mouse pointer to come to everybody and your mouse pointer to go to everybody and so on and so forth, then essentially, even if I let everybody control the screen, the system will be so, so awful that you would complain a lot more about that feature. So they don't want to do that, right? Does, this, does that sound like a reasonable <laughs> explanation of why they won't let that do that, right? But you, you, you would want to get to that sort of a thing. You want these things to be synchronized in such a fashion where um, 
I can get the natural feeling. So, you know, the natural thing I can say, I don't like this particular stuff, and I point, let's assume this is my pointer, I, I, I point here, and you all see it immediately, right? Uh, but if it takes, even for me, it takes a while for, for me to do something, right? So do, does it move for you guys, like when I move the thing? Or only when I... Yeah, so um, if it if it's yeah, so you can see on the screen and, and you see on on your own laptop, right? See the how how long it takes, right? Um, so when you add these things, then it becomes fairly slow, right? There's no reason why it should be slow because we're all sitting right next to each other, probably using the same wireless access point. So um, what you really want to do is across the country across the uh, not not sitting next to each other but uh, you know for a, for a distance and uh, these sort of things are are very hard right um, so it, it's a pretty large group and uh, if any one of you are interested they're hiring they're hiring like uh, really uh, really strong uh, lotus and stuff right they've been hiring people for summer internships and all those things and there's a lot of mind, minds going into the stuff because I think it's a it's a really big market right I think I think Cisco's aspect of the um, the Web Express, Web Express, Cisco bought it for like two billion dollars, right? Um, so it's it's a big market, and um, but that that's that's where things stand, right? Um, so it's pretty disappointing in a lot of sense that what we talked about in class, it's not what you see, but on the other hand. The positive aspects of it is I can at least show it to you and we can all participate enough in it to complain about it, right? Um, there is actually a, a video conferencing in this particular floor. So that, um, that um, I forget what's it called. Like if you keep going towards, you know, towards the pitch entrance, right? The first room, if you come towards this way, there's a room there, right? Uh, I forget what it is, I think it's like, instruction uh, technology support or something. If you keep going all the way in, there's a video conference room, right? Um, and that used to be the way you can do video conference and stuff. So you have to go to the room physically, and you, you so they have a TV and a camera on top of it, which sort of follows where you're going, and you have a big TV in that room. Have you, have you been in the OIT, the conference room in the OIT building? Not the OIT building, like here. Yeah. I mean, there's one in the OIT building where it's like three big projectors on the wall. Yeah, that's the access grid. That, you know, we had a picture from last class, right? That's access grid, which is, yeah, that, so that's, that's, access grid works with other access grid participants. Um, so it, it really needs internet too, right? The OIT building, it needs internet too connection. So uh, setting it up is, it's, it's, it's easier if you can talk to other uh, Internet 2 sites, other uh, high-performance computing sites. And this is a little bit more uh, wider open, right? Uh, as long as you have the other, um, uh, I forget who the ma manufacturer was. If you have another Cisco client somewhere, you can have a chat with them. Um, but again, you have to go in there, you have to reserve the room. I think the room was like $120 for some amount, some amount of time and, and money kind of to set it up, right? So we've reached the point where all of us can sort of do it within our uh, own laptops and stuff and complain about it, right? Uh, so hopefully we'll reach a point where, I mean, because the because only way things, things improve is when people complain, right? Because then uh, you're able to participate. Right? So you're moving into the, the technology point where all of us can participate. Um, but ideally you would like this you'd like this on your phone kind of thing, right? Have a phone camera and have this on your camera, then on your phone, then um, if you get this sort of a quality on your phone, I think people would be happy, right? This sort of like a, maybe like a really choppy video, maybe really choppy uh, control, but I can be in Hawaii rather than um, Chicago in the middle of winter or something, I'll be okay, right? Um, but on the lap, I mean, on the desktop and laptop, you expect it to be a little bit better because the network is shouldn't be a problem at all, um, right? So, 
what's your what's your sense on this kind of a stuff? What's your experience in general with with any kind of collaboration um, with remote stuff, video video chat with family, or audio chat with family, and stuff like that? What is your has it has it yeah? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So, uh, like yeah. So, yeah. So, I mean, so yeah. There's something you have to ignore, right? Like, yeah. Dial up. I mean, I don't even know where how how you can do that, right? Um, no, I mean, there are enough issues, hard issues that dial up adds yet another uh, uh, um, issue, right? Um, because dial up doesn't really have a bandwidth to actually make any sort of smooth video. Um, and um, but regardless of whether you have dial-up or something, right? You'll notice the latency, right? Um, and especially if you, I don't know if you, how many of you talk to people really long distance. Um, so if you're talking to people in India, you have like a, I would guess like a second of delay added, right? So after a while, you get used to it. You don't notice it at all. But if you never spoken to people that far off, because of the speed of flight, you have like a second uh, delay, which means that you always keep fighting with each other. So both of you will say hello, and it'll take like a second to reach the other person. So both of you will say, OK, you go. And you'll come back after a second. So you go through this stuff for a while, and then you kind of get used to it, right? Um, right? But that you'll face regardless whether they have dial up or not, right? Um, so, has anyone done anything else? Like, so some of you mentioned you have done uh, uh, conference calls, right? What was that for? Uh, I did my internship last summer. Okay. Has a conference call interview kind of thing, or? Um, no, just a lot of the meetings oh. during the summer were by conference call. Okay. Well, how how many people were there in those meetings? Uh, some of them were only like four or five. And okay. Some of them were up to like fifty. Fifty, mm -hmm. so so yeah. So I've, I've only been up to like twenty, right? So what is the experience on a fifty one? But that that was mainly like they're really like department meetings, so it'd be like one person addressing everyone. So mm -hmm. it's not. I mean, there's not too much of mm -hmm. confusion or chaos or mm -hmm. anything like that. But. but but in some sense, fifty cannot have a conference call, right? Because the way systems work, right. it, it only works if one person is talking, everybody else is listening, but not. Or you know, at the end they say, okay, now I'm done. Now site you go kind of stuff, right? So, um, but you know, you can see like how 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 fantastic it could be if you can sort of use the the computing to show all the stuff. And um, yeah, still have ways to go. We have a lot of time, so I'll I'll see you on on Wednesday. I mean, sorry, on Monday. Well, we look at more sensor networking scenarios, right? Um,